In what turned into a second half of runs, LSU came away with the short end of the stick in a tightly contested second round battle to know. 1 Michigan, losing 86-78 to the Wolverines. It was a game dictated by offensive spurts in the second half and in the end. A stagnant finish from the Tigers allowed a well-coached, experienced Michigan team to take advantage. The second half play of Javante Smart and Cam Thomas is what really kept the team in the game. Thomas went for 30 points while Smart chipped in 27 more with 9 rebounds and 6 assists. With a first half dominated by brilliant perimeter shot making, LSU knew it needed to come out of the second half attacking the rim, though that's exactly what the Tigers did. The Tigers opened the second half on a 9-2 run to grab a 51-45 advantage with Smart, Watford and Thomas all taking it to the basket. It became evident this game would come down to a game of runs. Michigan would answer LSU's start with a 10-0 run of its own, where the Tigers finally committed their first turnover of the game 24 minutes in. LSU would follow with a 12-3 run of its own, headlined by Smart and Thomas's stellar guard play to grab a 63-58 lead. The two teams would exchange blow after blow but down the stretch, LSU's offense in the half-court became too discombobulated as every player wanted to be the one to get the Tigers back into it. During the middle of the second half, we felt like we was doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one ball, Smart said. All year that's what we've been doing all year. So we just tried to pass the ball to each other, play as a team, continue top play as a team. Hit some shots, but they hit some big shots. They hit a couple big shots. LSU went without a basket for over 8 minutes and as the Tigers offense struggled, Michigan took advantage with some dagger threes, the last of which was from Franz Wagner, which put the Wolverines up 79-70 with 3.27 to go. Wagner was great down the stretch, scoring 9 points over the final 4 minutes of the game. Another area that hurt LSU was the disparity in bench points as the Wolverines outscored the Tigers 26-2 in that category. The Tigers have been a team that has depended on its big four all season and they combined for 74 of the 78 points but it was easy to see they lost a lot of their energy as the game wore on. We played well. We ran into a great, great team. I mean, we could have done some things differently, Wade said. We could have made a few more shots, finished a few more in the lane, had a few better switches defensively. We certainly could have won the game. I can't fault our guys' effort and how hard they played. We were prepared and ready to go. We just couldn't sustain it for 40 minutes. Unlike their first round matchup, the Tigers came out firing on all cylinders from the field. LSU started 8 of 16 from the field and jumped out to an early 13 to 6 lead, headlined by Cam Thomas's 5 for 6 start that saw him score 12 straight points.